Hi everybody, Aaron Blaze here and welcome to another episode of Aaron's Art Tips, number nine. Okay, so today I'm really excited. I finally get to share with you what I did this summer. And um, I worked on a commercial for a company based in London for John Lewis, a department store. For you folks in Britain, you know what I'm talking about. And it's a commercial called The Bear and the Hare. Each year they do a big Christmas campaign. And this year they decided to do their commercial uh, in animation. And so... Um, earlier in the summer, I was approached by a company called Blink Inc. Um, they were bidding on this job and they needed some character designs and they knew of my work in Brother Bear. And, um, and so they were wondering if I would be interested. And at the time, I almost didn't take the job because I was doing some work for Blue Sky and, and Paramount. But I decided to take it. I did some designs for them. Some of them you can see here on my computer screen. And uh, along with an animation test and, and the story reel and everything else, they ended up getting the job. And then it came back to me to kind of finalize the designs. And then um, at the same time, while I was still kind of hemming and hawing whether I was going to take the job or not, I, um, I found out that I would be working with my old Disney friend, Dom Carolla, and all of the people that work with him at his studio called Premise Entertainment in Orlando and at that point I decided I was definitely going to do it. Um, but today I want to talk about I want to talk about that but it really started getting me thinking philosophically and and I want to go a little deep today and and uh, so I hope you guys will indulge me and it might get a little emotional but um, you know one person they saw the test or the the, the uh, com commercial and and they my last few years of my life have been really up and down and uh, professionally personally and um, and recently, about a year ago, I had lost a movie. Uh, the company went bankrupt. And, and this person wrote, you know, when a door closes, another one opens. And had that not happened, we wouldn't have this commercial. And, and it really got me thinking, even on a bigger scale, and thinking about animation itself and how it's such a, a metaphor for life. And so I'm going to talk to you, especially you younger people out there that um, are just getting started and can get frustrated and 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 life can throw you curves. You know, animation is all about the marathon. You know, we don't do it overnight. So many people ask me, you know, how can you do something that's so tedious that it seems like it's the same thing over and over and over again? And and in a way, isn't life is kind of that way. It's it's day after day we try to get through um, get through it. And so I'll you know let me give you a quick history of of what I'm talking about. And it's going to be it's it's the quick quick history of my life. Um, you know, 10 years ago, uh, I was working at Walt Disney Feature Animation in Orlando uh, at MGM. We had 360 people working there. We had just finished up Brother Bear. Many of these people I had worked with for 15 years, and we were a family. And we were very tightly knit. And everything up to that point, my whole career was, was kind of skyrocketing forward. And, and I was married, and I had two kids, and everything was perfect. Until the uh, Brother Bear came out, and um, and that's when the, the company decided, Disney decided, that they were going to shut down the studio in Orlando after 15 years. And we were heartbroken. And not only that, they were going to lay everybody off. And so this family, this tight group that we had had for so long was all of a sudden dispersed to the wind. And um, But myself and a few others were held on to, which was an ordeal in itself. So we survived that. We transferred to California and I started developing movies again. I was with my old partner, Bob Walker, my other partner, Chuck Williams, who some of you know is working with me on Art Story. And, uh, and we started developing an, another project after Brother Bear. And a couple of things we, um, we, we uh, stalled out on a couple of things, but there was one project that started taking root, a, a project called uh, The King of the Elves. And we were moving forward and then while we were making that, um, my wife, Karen, 
woke up one morning. Uh, we were still laying in bed, and she felt a little lump right here. And she had me reach over, and I felt it. And for sure, there was there was a lump there. And she went in and had it biopsied, and, and sure enough, she had breast cancer. All of a sudden, I thought, you know, how, how many times are we going to get hit like this? But it didn't get better. And, you know, we brought her in for treatment, but it was very aggressive. And for 23 months, she fought it and fought it. And I tried to work, tried to uh, take care of things at home with Karen. And um, uh, we even got to the point where I couldn't go to work anymore. And the guys would come to my home and we'd work out of my studio so I could be with Karen. But eventually, on March, uh, March 11th, uh, 2007, um, things had just gotten to the end. And, uh, uh, you know, we had family there and all of our friends. And I had Karen in my arms and she passed away. And at that point, I was like, I don't know if I can take this anymore. I mean, it was such a, it was such a big hit. And I remember waking up the next morning and the sun came up. And I remember being so angry that the sun came up. And it came up again, and it came up again, and it came up again, and life moved on, and it kept going. And and but the loss of Karen and the the blow to the, my family, it it hit me in a way that I wasn't able to get back to where I was at Disney. And um, as hard as I tried to get King of the Elves back on track, I just wasn't able to do it. My head wasn't in it. Um, and so ultimately, I was taken off of that movie. And when I was taken off, that's when I realized, you know, I gotta. I've got to start over. And so I decided to leave Disney. I'd been with Disney for 21 years. And so I left and took my family and we came back to Florida. I wanted to come back to uh, uh, familiar surroundings. And while I was making that decision, uh, I got a message that there was a company in Florida starting out, an animation company that was looking for a director to start developing films. And so Chuck and I, who Chuck had also left Disney, we decided to go ahead and interview. We interviewed, got the job, and lo and behold, we're back in Florida starting over, starting fresh, and creating something new. And so we started developing several uh, projects, um, one of which took hold, and it was called The Legend of Tembo. And while we were developing that, we developed, we brought in a great crew of people who were making friends again and, and developing that family that I had lost at Disney in Orlando so many years earlier. But as, as luck would have it, three years into that venture and two years into the making of The Legend of Tembo, we came to work on one Friday, uh, one Friday and um, discovered that the company had gone bankrupt and we had until noon to clean out our offices and the movie had been shut down. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't, I don't know if I can keep doing this, you know? And, and it was such an emotional blow and I felt like I was going through that loss all, all over again. And that was about a year ago, well, about 13 months ago. And the reason I'm telling you all of this is because it brings us to where we are now, which is making this commercial. So I was out of work for several months and that's when I got that phone call to make this commercial. And had I not gone through all of this journey to end up where I'm at now, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to make this commercial. And you're going to see it and you're going to see the magic that we're able to create. And what's even cooler about this for me was the fact that I went through this 10 year circle. The, the group that I was with in Orlando, we all said goodbye to each other and I didn't see a lot of them for 10 years. And I went through all of this story that I just told you and I came back and I worked with these people in Orlando, some of them that had never left. And it was the same group that I worked with at Disney so many years ago. And what was cool about that is we came together, the family was reunited, and we were able to make this magic on the screen. And that's why it's so special to me. And I talk about all this because animation is like that. You know, animation is this marathon and it's hard. And from the outside, it looks like this mundane, hard, difficult thing but when you play it when you look back when you play the history of it when you play those drawings and they and and like looking at life you see magic the the whole thing comes alive and just like life it it becomes magical uh it it's the ups and the downs and all that that make the tapestry of of how we live each day and so if you take anything out of this rambling that i'm doing today um, I want you to know that if you're having difficulty in your art, keep pushing, persist, 
the sun will come up the next day. It's like doing a new drawing and then you add another drawing. And over time, those collections of drawings, those collections of days, you can play them back and you can see the magic of it all. It'll get better. Your art will get better. Your life will get better. Things will get better. You can look back on it and you can still feel the, the emotion, the sads, the, the sad times and the happy times and all that. But that's the music. That's the, the art. That's the beauty of your life. And draw on it and, and, and pour that into your art. And that's what we do now. And so I, I've got to thank Ink Blink or Blink Ink. Sorry. I've got to thank Blink Ink for calling me. I've got to thank all my friends who recommended that Blink Ink call me. And most of all, I got to thank Dom Carolla and all the great people at Premise for making such a special experience for me because I was able to go through all of those ups and downs and come back home again and create something great. So anyway, that's my rambling for today. Persist. When it looks dark, keep going because the sun's going to come up tomorrow and just keep going. All right. So the first thing I want to play for you is the making of. Um, and you're going to get to see how we did this. It's a pretty non-traditional way of, of doing animation. Everything was hand-drawn. You'll see me in there flipping stuff. Um, but my job on this was I, was, I, I designed all of the characters. And then um, Dom Carolla and myself, we supervised all of the animation. And then I myself, I animated all of the bear and the hair. So um, without further ado, I'm going to play for you the, the making of. And then I'll come back in and I'll introduce the actual commercial itself. So that was pretty cool, wasn't it? I mean, it's it was so labor intensive. It's such a cool mixture of stop motion and 2D and sets, and I've never seen anything like it before. And uh, when they told me how they originally did that test, I was blown away. And it was so cool to see our drawings that we created all of a sudden becoming these 3D little cards and and a set of never. It, it was it was just so special. So anyway, so that's how we made the the. Uh, the, uh, the advertisement for John Lewis. And now I want to show you the actual commercial itself. So please enjoy it. I walked across an empty 
empty land I knew the pathway like the back of my hand I felt the earth beneath my feet Sat by the river and it made me complete Oh simple thing, where have you gone? I'm getting tired and I need someone to rely on I came across a fallen tree I felt the branches of it looking at me Is this the place we used to love? Is this the place that I've been dreaming of? Someone to rely on And if you have a minute Why don't we go Talk about it somewhere Only we know Cause this could be the end of everything So why don't we go somewhere Pretty cool, huh? It's like a little mini two-minute movie. Um, and I, I was thinking about this. You know, that's the first project that I've actually taken through to completion and release in probably almost 10 years. I've worked on so many projects, um, but this is the first one that I've seen all the way through in, in that amount of time. So for me, it's very emotional, very cool, and I'm so glad that I've been able to share it with you. So I want to remind you all, um, you know, check out Wacom and all of their great products. I use them. I've talked about it every week, my Cintiq 24 inch HD. Uh, I love it and uh, I really recommend it. And here's their website and go check them out. Um, also, uh, if you're interested in more of my stuff, uh, please go to my website, creatureartteacher.com. It's uh, the art of Aaron Blaze and it's creatureartteacher.com. Um, Go check it out. You'll see more of my art. You'll see uh, I've got a lot of tutorials on there for Photoshop, um, animation, um, how to draw elephants, all kinds of fun stuff. And also, I want to remind you that if you have any ideas for um, future episodes of what you want me to cover, please send me a letter uh, right in the, in the comments down below, and, uh, and I'll see what I can do. Um, this is going to be my last uh, episode of Aaron's Art Tips for the next two weeks because tomorrow I'm heading out to Wyoming for a painting trip, taking my father with me, and we're going to have a great time. I'm going to be out there for quite a while, so I'm going to miss next week, but uh, hopefully after that I'll have a whole bunch of cool stuff from Wyoming that I can share with you. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for letting me uh, kind of ramble on and wax philosophical for you all about life and all the ups and downs and persist. Persist in your art persist in life, persist in creating beauty for everyone else. It's our job to make someone else's life better and go out and start doing it today. Okay. Um, so thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed the commercial. Tell your friends all about it. Knock those views on YouTube right up. I mean, we've hit, we've hit 4 million views in three days. How cool is that? Wow. It was the, it was the number one video on YouTube the other day. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it. And in two weeks, I'll see you again. So um, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.